Hello viewers, Marianne from Revealing Light Tarot. I've got one quick, more quick reading to do before I finish up. Uh, one of my viewers sent me a, a copy of a newsletter that they'd received. Um, it was a political type of um, publication canvassing um, whether or not it was asking for, for people to vote. So it seemed like it was a GOP type newsletter. Um, asking people to vote on whether or not they thought that Ivanka Trump would be a good running mate for Donald Trump in 2020. Um, now, so I want to look at whether Trump intends to dump Mike Pence and go with his daughter in 2020. Let's have a look at that. Um, because, uh -huh, so, all right, so straight away what I'm seeing are scissors, which means somebody is getting a cut. Uh, something is going to be cut. Um, so let's have a look at that. Uh, I'm using my Tarot Illuminati. Does uh, Donald Trump intend to dump Pence and go with his daughter? Well, let's just say, does Donald Trump intend one question at a time? So what I'm also seeing now, thank you, Spirit, I'm seeing talks and negotiations around the table. So this is being discussed. Should Donald Trump... Um, take Pence with him in 2020. Uh, there are discussions that I think Donald Trump is feeling. He would be better off, the GOP are thinking, they would be better off with another uh, another kind of running mate for Trump. Now, will it be Ivanka? I don't know because I'm not getting a strong push to her. So we're just going to ask because there are other contenders that he might take with him. Um, these are deals that are being done, uh, backroom deals, factional deals, um, and, of course, ultimately uh, they're talking about how they retain power in 2020. I don't even want to contemplate whether uh, it, what would happen if he was elected for another four years. All my readings have shown that he won't be, um, so that he's going to suffer some sort of loss before we get there. But, you know, uh, let's just have a look at these questions. Um, so is does Trump intend to dump Pence and run with someone else? Uh, will, will Mike Pence be dumped in 2020? Uh, as Donald Trump's all, so the door's open and opening for it. Okay. All right, we've got the two of swords. So there are decisions uh, that are being made right now as we speak. The uh, challenge to this is the tower. That's interesting. That is interesting signifier cards because we have a decision needing to be made uh, and the challenge to that decision-making uh, is the tower. So I feel the GOP feel that um, somebody else as a running mate would be better than Mike Pence in 2020. That's the signifier card. We have the Princess of Cups. Um, now, this could be Ivanka herself as the foundation of the reading. Donald Trump might be pushing for his daughter. Uh, but this could also be another female as well. And Nikki Haley comes to mind. So I feel she's in the mix as well. Um, there is going to be a leak here. Uh, somebody is going to talk about this Um uh, as a result, it's going to be the it's going to be the topic. It's going to be come out in the media. Now we've got endings and beginnings in the past with this world card, um, and we've got the eight of wands. Things coming forward very quickly. He may not even now these tarot cards might be showing me that he may not even be standing by 2020 by November 2020 because there is a revelation coming. The tower is challenging the decision and we've got the eight of swords, things coming out very, very quickly. The four of cups, we've got disappointment and some somebody being offered something. So there's loss there. Uh, the prince of wands. So there is a plan at the moment um, to, uh, to really for change to occur. But this is also my impeachment card as well. And we've got the Star of Hope. So these cards are uh, leading me back to the impeachment trial, back to Donald Trump's future, back to the news that's likely to drop. But let's keep going with the question. Um, 
if I read in layers, I'm seeing, uh, so there's several layers to this reading. Uh, what I'm seeing is something else. We're a long way from November 2020. There is something else, another revelation that could come out. Um, we've got disappointment here, uh, but we've also got the Tower and we've also got the Eight of Wands. Lots, a lot of information coming out quickly, uh, but that's only a potential future. The hopes and the fears, we've got retreat. If I look at Mike Pence, I'm not seeing good cards for him. And we've got the lover's card. Okay, now that's Trump himself. It's also uh, who he might be chained to. We've also got abuse of power. Okay, so spirit's not going to let, um, uh, let me get away with asking this question. Uh, what it's taking me to, what the cards are taking to me to is Donald Trump's loss. Um, either way, we've got loss here. Uh, now, I'm not sure what star sign Pence is. If Pence is a Gemini, um, we, we, we definitely, he's definitely going to be betrayed. Um, and and he and Trump will look for a new running mate. Uh, but this is also, I feel, loss for Trump as well. Nothing, the future is not set in stone. We have strength and endurance. We have the seven of wands having to defend oneself. And we've got new starts. So strictly speaking, and we have te the temperance card, rebalancing and healing. Strictly speaking... <laughs> It doesn't look like uh, Pence would be uh, Trump's running mate by 2020, but I'm also getting a draw to what is happening now, and uh, and you know the really the strong uh, the strong intuition that you know let's not get ahead of ourselves. But I think it's uh, it's good to it's good to pull these cards. We'll ask if um, Ivanka Ivanka Trump would be his running mate. I'm I'm sorry, Spirit. Spirit might show me some cards that are pointing to the here and now and his uh, impeachment and what is happening, going to happen between now and November 2020. We've got the Supreme Court hearing Donald Trump's um, case on the release of his taxes. So let's have a look. Will uh, Trump see? Trump may not even be the GOP candidate. Uh, so let's have a look. Will Ivanka, will Ivanka Trump be Trump's running mate? Will Ivanka Trump be Trump's running mate? Nonsense, I'm hearing. <laughs> will Ivanka Trump be Trump's running mate? Will Ivanka Trump be Trump's running mate? So we've got judgment, something coming to an ending, something coming to uh, something that has to end ends. We'll see which way spirit is going to take me in this reading. We have the five of cups. This is loss. Someone, someone experiencing a loss, and it's and they're quite overcome by the loss that they're experiencing. Ten of wands. Very, very hard journey for this person. Will Trump uh, choose his daughter? Um, the eight of wands. Something coming out in the past. Bang, bang, bang. Uh, this is, well, this is information re being released, um, communication uh, coming like bolts of blue out of the, bolts out of the sky. Uh, we've got the nine of wands, battle, battle weary uh, as the um, potential future. So spirit is taking me somewhere and it's not, it's not a dream run for Ivanka Trump. Um <laughs> Eight of Cups, loss, wow, the here and the now, the Ace of Swords, the truth coming out, um, and the King of Swords, Re really, really, okay, thank you, Spirit, thank you, Spirit, this is in the here and now, the truth coming out, uh, the environment around that Ace of Swords is the King of Swords, okay, um, we've got loss, the Eight of Cups here, um, and we have anxiety. Um, these aren't good cards for Ivanka Trump nor her father. We have the Wheel of Fortune, something changing. Uh, we have the Six of Cups going back to the past. And we have the Prince of Cups. Um, this is an offer, uh, a proposal. Okay, so I'm not seeing that that is uh, become my running mate. Uh, what I'm seeing is Ivanka Trump's destiny is changing. She's likely to go back to some kind of existence or life that she had in the past. Uh, we have the King of Pentacles at the base of the pack. There's disappointment ahead. 
for her father, who 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 is uh, the King of Pentacles, and we have the Prince of Pentacles. Some kind of news emerging. Um, we've got the Smug Merchant, uh, but it's also the Wish card, and we have Restriction here. So I feel that um, we're a long way from. 2020, the election in 2020. These cards aren't good for Ivanka Trump. There is a loss that she's going to experience. Is that connected with her father? Uh, of course, I go back to my first reading, quite possibly so. So something is yet to emerge, which will be a loss for the Trump family. Uh, I don't think she would, I don't even think she'll be in DC uh, in 2021. It, it appears to me she's going back to where she came from. There is a past card there. Uh, so it could be she returns to New York. Okay, so let's have a look. It is being talked about at the moment, but uh, the future is not set in stone. Uh, I feel that there's going to be loss for Trump before we get Trump and the Trump family before we get to 20, November 2020. All right, let's have a look at um, did Donald Trump know about the Saudis hacking Jeff Bezos, the um, head of Amazon, owner of Amazon, owner of the Washington Post, going hard at Trump uh, at the time. Uh, Saudi Arabia now proof uh, hacking his uh, his cell phone, releasing information to the Na National Enquirer, uh, which of course uh, showed that uh, Bezos was having an affair, uh, led ultimately to his divorce. So. Um, wow, wow, did Trump know about this? Uh, of course, we have uh, uh, Kushner and Trump very closely aligned with Saudi Arabia. Interesting, well, not interesting, it's it's almost a tragedy. Um, Saudi troops training with American troops um, reverted to terrorism and, sh and shot and killed American troops uh, in Florida. They no longer train with American troops. Um, the Saudi prince um, murdering proof was found, the UN found, that the Saudi prince murdered uh, Khashoggi, Jamal Khashoggi, uh, the Washington Post correspondent. Now we have proof positive that uh, they hacked Jeff Bezos' phone uh, and released that to the National Enquirer. Who is the National Enquirer connected with? Donald Trump. Did Trump know? Did Trump know? Yes, he did, that uh, the Saudis were, going, were tapping Jeff Bezos' phone. Interestingly enough, this might uh, turn into a bit more than what we think at this time. This, this has the potential to become bigger. Did uh, Donald Trump know, was he informed uh, of the hack of Jeff Bezos' phone by the Saudi Arabian, Ra Arabia, by Saudi Arabia, by the Saudis, crown, the Crown Prince um, and his minions? Was did Trump know about this hack of Jeff Bezos' phone? Okay, we've got the alchemist. We've got the um, the magician card, uh, actualizing something into reality. It's also a yes card. Uh, we've got uh, challenged the challenge to actualizing something into reality. Uh, what is the nine of wands? So at the time, if we go back, there were there was a lot in the Washington Post that was uh, covering the Mueller report, the Mueller investigation. Uh, so they were a little bit on the back foot. They wanted the advantage. I'm pulling yes cards here. The chariot things are coming forward very strongly. Um, in the past, we have the Queen of Cups. That's interesting because she has something to reveal. Um, Princess of Wands, a communication. He was informed. He was informed. That's what I'm feeling. Um, how was he informed? Um, is a question here. How would and would there be proof of that information? Um, he has a private cell phone, doesn't he? Uh, I feel I got the image of of the cell phone ringing. So I feel he was in, informed. Um, we've got strength and, uh, and endurance here. Um, in the here and now, we've got defending oneself. So there is. I think this question is going to be raised. Uh, and the Eight of Pentacles, money. Uh, how we earn our money, money in, money out, um, in the here and now. So someone's going to have to defend themselves on this. Um, the Empress card, 
uh, in the hopes and fears. Uh, this is abundance. Um, this is also my card for Russia. Saudi Arabia and Russia are quite close. Were they working in tandem? The fool, yes, it's a yes, he did know. Um, the sun, absolutely, uh, he was in the loop. Um, and we've got the queen of swords suggesting that, that something else is going to come out on this. Now, Bezos is... Uh, what one of the world's richest people um he's a, a multi-billionaire um he's he's given this information interestingly enough because i'm getting a draw to the intelligence agencies he's given this information over to the un not the fbi the un what does that tell you um it says that uh that the fact that the un might be uh, investigating this uh means it, that the American um, investigations cannot, maybe, possibly cannot be relied on. We've got the five of pentacles at the base of the pack, uh, somebody um, being left out, left out of the cold. We've got anxiety and we've got the king of pentacles, of course, of course, and the princess of pentacles, something, uh, something coming forward. I do feel that this is going to, we're going to hear more about this. Um, why was Trump in on this? Uh, because the Washington Post was uh, was not supporting him um, and he felt uh, that they should, remembering that Trump is motivated by what concerns him. Uh, there was anxiety around that and we've got um, the King of Pentacles. I also feel that this is, we're going to hear more about this because I've got the Princess of Pentacles and the King of Swords. So it could be that this is going to be further investigated. Uh, this could be something they can't shut down. Um, will the intelligence agencies be bound now? A foreign, um, a foreign country tapping and hacking uh, a prominent business person's, a US citizen's phone and then releasing that information, that dirt, to uh, a publication for pub, you know, for, for uh, broadcasting of that information. The owner of the Washington Post, a media, uh, a media, uh, a media owner who was critical of Donald Trump at the time, uh, critical of the uh, Saudis at the time, Absolutely, this has got the potential to go to um, for further investigation within the US. Let's have a look at that. This uh, this is going to grow, I feel. Um, will uh, the US intelligence agencies, will this be investigated internally? Will this matter now? Will the Saudis hacking Jeff Bezos' phone? Will this be investigated internally and where is it going? Will this be investigated internally and where is it going? Okay, so we have the Prince of Pentacles. This is the uh, the hired gun, the merchant. Somebody paid to do something. And we've got uh, Deceit, a Seven of Swords here. Um, it's the challenge, uh, Deceit and Lies, okay? So... Um, <laughs> somebody's very anxious about this with the Knight of Swords, um, the Nine of Swords uh, coming forward again into this reading, uh, being left out in the past. This is pointing straight to the president. We've got the full uh, card uh, in the potential or the issue, the potential, what's crowning this reading. The Empress keeps coming up. Abundance, wealth, potentially Russia. Uh, we've got the Nine of Cups. Uh, the smug merchant wish fulfillment will will there be an investigation M more than one person being involved in this this was teamwork okay so it possibly was saudi arabia and and others the national inquirer perhaps trump himself the seven of cups the fear and the hope delusion making difficulty making choices smoke screens and we've got the princess of swords yes this will be investigated uh this is action being taken um however we've got the moon uh, secrets and we've got the four of wands celebration um let me just see uh have a look at this princess of swords will the fbi will there be an internal investigation now on this Show me the Princess of Swords. 
Show me the princess of swords. Show me the princess of swords. So action taken on the truth. Two of pentacles. Um, again, there's likely to be some sort of cover-ups here. The six of swords, so, uh, which is a healing card. There's manipulation, healing, and we've got the prince of cups, which is the knight of cups, and offer a proposal. And we've got the star uh, card here. Um, look, it's possible. And the king, king of cups on the bottom and the ace of swords as well. Uh, and the ace of wands, two, two, um, two aces here. I feel that it's likely it could be investigated uh, by, inter by your own intelligence agencies or your FBI. Um, the truth is there. It's, 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 it, it can be tracked back in some way. Uh, there could be information that will be hidden. So, for example, the FBI comes in uh, and, uh, and, you know, looks at how the National Enquirer got that information. What were the links? Who was involved? Because I feel it's going to come come close to Trump uh, here with this Three of Pentacles. Um, this has the potential to keep going. Uh, so uh, watch this space. I feel that there's going to be a call now for an internal investigation. So this story is not going to go away. Okay, so National Enquirer, Saudis, uh, and uh, potentially uh, Trump, Kushner. Um, there's more. There's more to come on this one. So I'll leave that there, um, and I'll be back again with another reading um, again soon. This is just my intuitive impressions. They may or may not be correct, uh, but I feel we're likely. I feel that Bezos has um, has a game plan here, uh, and uh, the UN um, uh, ha handing that to the UN. Uh, is going to put pressure on internal investigation um, within the US to take this matter further. Uh, this is could be potentially explosive. Another article in, of impeachment, even. All right, uh, if it was proven that Kushner and uh, and and Trump knew about this, um, or were in some way involved, or their intermediaries were some way were somehow involved. Um, I go back to Ivanka Trump's cards. Uh, it looks like um, she is going back um, possibly to New York or somewhere else uh, and there's loss, very heavy cards for her. Um, why is that? All right, I'm going to leave that there. Um, interesting reading to follow on from the impeachment reading. I hope you've enjoyed them. I'll be back again soon with another reading.